A hundred years ago, our grandparents lived in a world where bedbugs were common. When they went out, they knew they might encounter bedbugs during their daily activities, at work, or visiting friends, or while traveling. However, they were able to protect themselves from bringing bedbugs home by being on the lookout for hitchhiking bugs and being able to recognize bedbug evidence when they saw it. Many of us today have jobs that bring us into other people's homes or other locations where bedbugs may be present. Because bedbugs have become widespread again in the United States, we need to learn what our grandparents knew, how to identify bedbugs, both up close and at a distance. Remember that bedbugs have to be brought into your home. So where have these bags been today? Dumping your bags on the couch or bed without looking at them first is probably a bad idea. Avoiding an infestation can be as easy as quickly looking over your purse, jacket, or computer bag before bringing these items in through your front door. Bedbugs and their eggs are tiny, but still clearly visible if you know what to look for. So what are we looking for? Adult bedbugs are the easiest to see. They're about three to five millimeters, oval in shape, and very flat. Their color is reddish brown. They have no wings, so their body segments are very clearly visible. When they're fed and full of blood, they tend to be bright red and shaped like a torpedo rather than a flat oval. Both fed and unfed bedbugs move quite rapidly when they're disturbed. Here is a bedbug on a zipper on a dark purse. Although it's somewhat camouflaged, you can still clearly see if you remember to look. Bedbugs have five immature or nymph stages before they become adults. These immature stages are more challenging to see because of their light color and size. The first stage nymph is about the size of a comma in a paperback book and light yellowish in color. This stage is the most difficult to see when it's unfed because if the nymph is on a light colored background, it almost has to be moving to catch your attention. The older nymph stages are also light in color, but they're more visible because of their larger size. Nymphs that have recently fed are much easier to see because they're bright red when filled with blood. Even nymphs that have fed a couple of days ago are easy to see because of the black color in their gut where the digested blood still remains. Bedbug eggs are the most difficult life stage to see with the naked eye. The eggs are only slightly smaller than the first stage nymph and also white in color. Eggs tend to be cemented in place on rough surfaces where the female produced them. They're also about the same color as white paint used to cover the walls in apartments. However, if you look up close, the eggs are fairly visible on personal belongings, as you can see on this jacket. Sometimes you may not see a live bed bug at all but you can recognize the signs of their presence and take precautions to avoid picking them up on your own belongings. For instance, if you're contemplating buying a piece of used furniture, you may want to inspect for bed bug evidence. You can look for the live bugs, but you will also want to look for their fecal spots. Bed bugs feed every five to seven days, so on most days, they're digesting their previous meal. Blood contains a lot of water, so they must excrete a lot of this meal right away to rid themselves of excess liquid. As you can see here, the digested blood comes out in the form of black droplets, which tend to bleed into fabric. If the droppings are on a solid surface, they tend to have a raised profile, but they're still smooth to the touch. Likely places to find bed bugs or fecal spots in someone's home or hotel include on mattress seams and tags, on the wood frame of the box springs, around electrical outlets, on the edges of carpeting or baseboards, and ceiling wall junctions, and behind pictures on the wall. Sometimes you may not see a live bed bug, but you will find something that looks like a bed bug with no bug inside. Immature bed bugs, like all insects, have to shed their outer skin or exoskeleton in order to grow larger. Immature bed bugs typically do this shedding or molting within five days of feeding. They leave these shed skins wherever the molting took place. Sometimes we can't find a bug at all, but we know that they've been there because we find the molted skin. One of the best ways to avoid bringing bed bugs into your home is to know what infestations look like from a distance. Apartment managers, plumbers, home health care workers, and pest control operators 
are just a few of the professionals that have to enter homes every day as part of their job. If you have a job where you have to visit potentially infested homes, learn to recognize the signs of an infestation on site. Bedbugs tend to gather together in groups called aggregations. In an aggregation, you can find live bedbugs of all life stages, fecal spots, molted skins, hatched and unhatched eggs. Look at this ceiling. Now from a distance, this looks like a moisture problem where mold and mildew has been allowed to grow. But if you look at it up close, you'll see that this is actually bedbug aggregations. Another telltale sign that somebody's battling a bedbug infestation is the presence of smashed, dead bedbugs on the walls and ceiling. If you walk into a home and see what looks like a murder scene, this is an indicator that the resident has been smashing live bedbugs. These blood smears are often found above the bed or the couch where someone sleeps or rests. Seeing these smashed bedbugs in a place where there is no furniture is a pretty good indication that you have somebody sleeping on the floor. It's quite common for residents to attempt different and excessive home remedies to control bedbugs. Evidence of home bedbug treatment is another warning sign of a bedbug infestation. For example, here a resident has applied excessive amounts of white powder. Is it boric acid or diatomaceous earth, or is it something else? Another common example is the presence of these long streaks on the wall. These streaks are the result of a resident applying an excessive amount of spray insecticide on bedbug aggregations. The black color comes from the fecal spots becoming wet and then running down the wall. One final note is that people tend to buy large quantities of insecticide when they're having a bed bug problem. So if you go into somebody's home and you see a gallon of bug be gone sitting by their bedroom door, that's an indicator that a bed bug battle is going on. Likewise, if you go in the kitchen and you see a case of bug bombs, or as in you see here, a whole bunch of aerosol cans of bug spray, that is an indicator that they have an eradication project for bed bugs underway. Be aware that just because people are not suffering from bites doesn't mean that bed bugs are not present. Some people, typically the elderly, may have severe bed bug infestations but are unaware of the problem because they simply don't react to the bites and do not see the bugs. So being able to identify the signs of an infestation will help keep you from bringing bed bugs home when you walk out. You'll know not to sit on any of the furniture. You'll also know not to put any of your personal belongings down on the floor. And more importantly, you'll know to inspect yourself and your belongings when you come out of the residence so that you don't take bed bugs to your own home.